And the date she saw in the stone was tomorrow. Yeah. And with that other vision she had a couple of hours ago, she's really shook up. She knelt down here to pick up the sweater? Yeah. Right here. Just a feeling. What sort of feeling? I don't know yet. Come on. Where's Nancy now, John? She's in the house. Uh, Mike, I'll see you a little later. I got a couple things to do around the house. And Ames will show you to you. Okay. Yeah. Mike, you've made it easy for me to talk about it. Can you tell me anything? I'm sure there's an answer, Nancy. But as I told John, it may take a while to find out what it is. Speaking of John, I wonder what's keeping him. Oh, oh, Mike, this is Joanna, my sister-in-law. How do you Hello. do? John told me you and he played football together. That's right. Here's the proof. Was it broken? I'd say annihilated. How? <laughs> well, it happened during an SC game. You see, John and I were a pretty good combination in college. It was almost as if I could read his mind and be in the right place to catch his passes. The nose? I'm getting to that. Anyway, during the SC game, he threw a terrific pass, but three of us caught it. Now, I still contend those two linebackers were reading his thoughts, too. <laughs> ah, our ESP guest has arrived. Oh, Dr. Rhodes, I'd like you to meet my husband, Stephen Sutherland. How do you do? I guess Nancy's already told you about her uh, little premonitions. What do you think? I'm not sure yet. What do you think? Oh, no. You're the expert. I don't take that stuff seriously. Do you? Yes, very. Did you ever think possibly that it might just be somebody's morbid imagination? I considered that driving out here. But now I don't think so. What about wishful thinking? Oh, Steve, that's in bad taste. Oh? Why? People have death wishes. Isn't that right, Doctor? Why not for somebody they love? Good evening. Good evening. You must be Dr. Rhodes. I'm Amos Sutherland. How do you do? How do you do? Well, shall we all go into dinner? Well, should we wait for John? John won't be here. He had to go out of town, business. That's what happens when you're the boss. When did he leave? A few hours ago. Without saying goodbye? It was an emergency business. He had to leave in a great hurry. I can't believe that. You can't what? I can't believe John would leave without telling me. I'm telling you. No. No, something's wrong. Nancy, try to control yourself. John had to go out of town on business. That's all there is to it. Amos, something has happened to John, and I know it. You know nothing. You're trying to hide something. Tell me what has happened to John, Amos. Stop it. You're getting yourself hysterical. I don't care what you say. I know what I saw. And I saw my husband lying in his grave. Road, since in all likelihood John won't be back for a few days, perhaps you'd like to change your plans about staying. I mean, no, please stay, Mike. I don't mean to imply that you're not welcome, but under the circumstances, um, why don't we go into dinner? I'm not hungry. Mr. Sutherland, I want to talk to you.
I don't understand why you're so concerned. Drink, Doctor? No, thanks. On the basis of what? An image you saw of my son's hands cut and bleeding? No, more than that. An image his wife saw of him in his grave. Mr. Sutherland, can you be certain that John is in no trouble right now? I think this is all nonsense. Then why are you nervous? Oh, come now. Can't you see what you're doing? You're catering to an immature girl whose feelings are hurt because her husband went on a business trip without saying goodbye. John did not leave on a business trip. Look, key, comb, billfold. Now, I don't care how much of a hurry he was in. He wouldn't have left without these. What's going on? Look, I tell you, my son left town on a business trip. And that's all there is to it. Leaving his personal things behind. It was vital that he get to the airport in a matter of minutes. I drove him there myself. Then there must be a way to contact him, talk to him. I'd like to do that. You'll do nothing, you understand? Now, I've had enough from both of you. There's an odd feeling in this room. A feeling that something's missing. What? Just bear with me for a minute. More than that, something missing. And something here that shouldn't be. I know what's missing. My husband. Oh, Mike, do you think... I think maybe John is playing some kind of joke. I don't think so. There has to be a logical explanation. Listen, why don't you go up and get some rest? I'll talk to you later, OK? you're being inundated with Sutherland hospitality. I'm not easily offended. I would like to apologize for Steve's rudeness. Not needed, but accepted. You know, when I first met Steve, I thought he was a tower of strength, just like his father. I would imagine his father's act was hard to follow. On second thought, maybe I'm the better for my mistaken judgment. How so? Oh, that little scene with Nancy. I've never seen him act that way before. I'm sure that being his secretary, you've seen his temper once Of course, a... Nancy's needless hysteria did begin to get on my nerves, too. I guess I can't fault him for slapping her. Needless hysteria? How else would you explain a grown woman falling to pieces because her husband's been called off on a business trip? Joanna, these belong to John. Do you still think it's needless hysteria? Is that supposed to have some mysterious significance? It has significance. Dr. Rhodes, uh, I'm afraid that strange world you live in causes you to see only the dark side of things. I'm sure there's a perfectly simple explanation for it all. I'm sure there's an explanation. Well, I see that you are determined to find little green men, so I won't disturb you any longer. Good night. Good night.
happened. He tried to kill me. Who? A man. No. He wasn't a man. He just kept coming toward me. He was like some sort of medieval character. Oh, it's so horrible. It's all right. There's nothing here now. I don't want to stay here. I hate this room. I'll take you downstairs. Come on. I can't shake the impression that something's missing from this room. And something is here that shouldn't be. That's the key to what we're looking for.